So I wake up a couple times last night and I notice that my monitor is on. And I kept coming up with excuses in my head as to why it was on. Maybe it hadn't been 30 minutes or whatever I've set my, uh, my display to go to, to go to sleep. And whatever else. Maybe the cat walked across the keyboard. But I knew, I honestly knew in the back of my head that something was preventing the computer from going to sleep. Fortunately, I've actually run into this problem before, and I knew it probably had something to do with the Adobe Flash Player running in my Firefox browser. But, uh, you know, so I made excuses, and then this morning I decided to troubleshoot it, and I was right. Uh, the one problem is, is I've reinstalled this computer recently, so I forgot what the command was. And not exactly the Windows command, but specifically how to put the syntax in so that it, you know, it'll let the system go to sleep. Um, I took a look on the internet, and you're going to see a lot of information out there, and a lot of people saying the most random stuff. People love to just say crap without actually proving that it works, or having any general idea what's going on. Uh, so I made this video, I'm going to show you that it does actually work, and how to be as specific as possible in isolating the issue. So again, I've already indicated that it's the, uh, the Adobe Flash Player. Now, the... Uh, the browser, obviously the Flash Player is running in the browser, but there's an actual executable for the Flash Player that's running. So some people have suggested, oh, well, you need to stop the browser from preventing the computer to go to sleep, because in their minds it's logical, but that doesn't do anything in reality. In reality, you specifically have to specify a specific process, a specific executable, and tell the computer to, you know, recognize that and not let it prevent it from going to sleep. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the nuts and bolts here. The first thing you have to do is open up your command prompt, and you have to run it as elevated command prompt, otherwise this is not going to work. And uh, we're going to take a look first at the uh, processes that are preventing the computer from going to sleep right now. We can do that by typing power cfg dash requests, plural. And you're going to see here that there's a display process of Adobe Flash Player and a system driver, the high definition audio device that theoretically are causing this system not to go to sleep. One thing I've noticed is that uh, in my testing, I don't even have to specify the high definition audio device to get the computer to go to sleep. So there's some uh, Windows crappiness, quirkiness, whatever you want to call it, but uh, I'm going to show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is prove to you that this system is not going to sleep. Um, I'll let this get to 40 or 55 seconds and then stop moving it around. And then uh, we're going to see that when we get back to 55 seconds, oh, uh, maybe it'd be good if I showed you that it's actually set up for that. So let's go to personalize, screensaver, uh, it's actually set up for 30 minutes. That would have been a long wait. Uh, so uh, we're going to stop it at 15 seconds. I'll let it go around. And as you can see, I've just ordered a pile pyro omnidirectional head worn microphone because this microphone sitting on my desk every time I move away, you can't hear my voice. I'm all the way over here. I've had to record this video two or three times because of that. So yeah, once this thing gets around to 15, we're going to see that uh, nothing is going to happen m magically. And the system will stay awake as long as that freaking browser window is open. Obviously, the workaround would be just close the browser window. But, as you can see in my case, uh, that wasn't my thought process, and it probably isn't yours if you're looking at this video. I don't like workarounds, I like solutions. So in the words of Grandpa, here comes two and nothing happens. So obviously we know that uh, something's preventing the system from going to something's preventing the system from going to sleep and uh, we've identified it. So now the question is is how do we tell that uh, executable to not be allowed to prevent the system from going to sleep? So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first you're going to type power cfg dash requests override and you have to specify that it's a process because it's a process and now for the syntactical part that really make that really matters here some people will suggest that you need to put this entire string in there all of this you don't need all of that crap all you need is the name of the actual executable you don't care where it's at um, so in order to do that the first thing you can do in your command prompt is right click and go to mark when you do that it'll give you a little box that you can select a, ma uh, a little bit of text. It doesn't work like in a browser where you select uh, a bunch of text. Uh, 
as you can see, it kind of just creates this little square. So I'm going to select the first part of the executable, and you press Enter to copy it to the clipboard. You cannot just Control V to paste it in. You're going to get that weird symbol. You have to right click and paste that in. And then I'm going to right click mark and get the rest of this name. Press Enter, and then just paste it in there. All right, so now I've got the name of that actual uh, executable. If there was a space in that name, I would need to put uh, quotes around it. Uh, I must not have got that last E. You'd need to put quotes around it, uh, but since this is all one continuous name with underscores, I can just leave it like this. And the most important part is at the end, you have to uh, put display there. So now you can check power CFG dash requests override and see what's in there. And you can see now I have the flash player plugin uh, .exe. And let's say for some reason you messed it up or you wanted to remove it or whatever, whatever. All you have to do is specify the exact same uh, thing you did except don't put display. So I'm going to do that and we'll run request override and you can see there's nothing in there. So we're going to put it back in there. Uh, requests override and verify that it's in there and now we're gonna wait one minute and you're gonna see that it's actually going to work so 35 seconds when we get back around we're gonna see my wonderful dream aquarium screensaver kick in and of course one of the uh, interesting things like I mentioned I didn't have to specify the high definition audio device I have no idea why this works uh, if anybody understands this better than I do I'd love a explanation I'll update the video or I'll update the uh, description text to include what's going on here but uh, as of now uh, like I said I was very specific I nailed down exactly what was preventing the system from going to sleep and I'm showing you just that so you'll have confidence uh, that you can make it work for your situation Huh, I'm going to have to change my uh, external IP address so that people don't try to hack me over here. And as you can see, the screensaver is starting after one minute, and I get a nice little fish, and eventually it'll go through the progression, and this computer will eventually go to sleep like it's supposed to.